So a lot of people tend to think that if you want to smell expensive, you want to smell like royalty, you have to go out and spend uh, a royalty price on niche fragrances. And yes, it is true that a lot of niche premium, you know, high-end luxury fragrances, whatever you want to call them, well, it is true that a lot of them do have an expensive kind of classy upscale smell. That doesn't mean that's the only way you have to go. You can smell just as good as people wearing niche fragrances without paying a niche price. Today we have 10 designer fragrances that, uh, that you can you could smell like a king, you could smell like royalty without paying that niche price tag, except for one in here. So they're all affordable. One is still a designer. I wanted to include it in here, but it's not at a designer price. And we'll talk about that when we get there, but really nice mess of fragrances here. Uh, really, most are gonna be leaning in the more woody, and uh, kind of mature direction. Uh, you know, for royalty smelling fragrances, there are citrus ones out there. There are sweet ones out there for sure. Um, but for me, when I think of something that smells this classy and luxurious, it, it always trends to the woodier fragrances. Like putting this one together, uh, a lot of them kind of go in that direction. So if you're not into that, I apologize, and, and I'll try to throw in some other stuff down the road as well. And there are a few ones in here that aren't all woods, but a lot of these kind of lean that way. And when you smell them, you'll understand why I think that. I will link these all down below to discounters as well, so you can pick them up and check them out there. Uh, let's just go ahead and start running through this one here. First up, we've got Bulgari Man Wood Neroli. So this actually is gonna be one of the fresher ones, even though it has wood in the name and it is woody, but uh, it has this gorgeous Neroli note, some nice citrus, orange blossom, woods, of course. <sighs> this is amazing. I was really raving on about this one in my buying guide video I did on the whole lineup here. It's absolutely incredible. And I, I drew a couple comparisons, um, you know, to other fragrances when talking about this one. And that being something along the lines of like a, a Zerzhov Kobe, a Zerzhov Neo, that sort of thing, because of how this one is composed. And the reason why I say Kobe is because it has this kind of a bite to it, this sour bite, but it also has this sweetness. And the sweetness isn't coming from like a tonka bean or anything like that. It's coming from the citrus and the orange blossom, how it's all coming together. And that's how Zerzhov Kobe kind of comes across as well. That was a complete mouthful to try to say, and I'm not gonna try it again. That's how that one comes across, right? Very luxurious and, you know, same thing with Neo to some extent. It, it has less of that sweetness, but it does have that nice sharp bite, that bergamot neroli, everything going on. Oh, it, it's just, Fantastic, love those. And this, while I'm not saying it's a one-to-one -one clone, it puts you in a similar ballpark to where it kind of gives you the same feeling. You know, you feel luxurious. This one puts a smile on my face. It makes me feel uh, energized and refreshed and motivated because it has that nice mixture. You get the woods in here giving it a masculine touch. This smells classy. It smells like something a gentleman would wear. It does not smell like something a teenager is gonna wear. Not saying that you can't wear it if you're a teenager, you absolutely can, but you know, the whole point behind this video is these have a, a you know, a royalty smell to them. And usually stuff like Invictus doesn't fit into that category. Next up, Dolce & Gabbana Velvet Incenso, right? I always mess up the name on this one. Velvet Incenso. So we've got incense, benzoin, pepper, and elemi here. Uh, I've talked about this one before. Absolutely draw jaw dropping. Again, I'm losing my words. Jaw dropping, gorgeous. The the incense in here smells amazing. It has a very strong focus on woods. You know, it kind of has an outdoorsy smell to it. it. Has a little bit of a kind of a sweetness to it almost like a resinous sweetness, sharp like cedar wood, papyrus, pink pepper, pepper uh, vibes going on as well. It is, I mean, this right here is the type of thing that's going to appeal to the collector, to the enthusiast. If you smelled a lot of the mainstream fragrances on the market, at that point, you're gonna be, you know, your standards are gonna be much higher. The bar has now been raised significantly after you've smelled so many things. And that only continues on as time goes on, as you smell more things. This is the type of thing that will kind of bring you back into 
why you do this in the first place, which is to just have your mind blown. At least it does for me. I mean, this stuff right here is incredible. It smells like royalty. It smells like something that uh, a guy with means would pick up and wear. Now, this one is also a little bit more on the pricey side. Uh, it's just an availability issue. Um, normally, you can get this one for a bit of a lower price. Uh, just the whole stock issues with everything, supply chain, all messed up. You've heard a million times. Harder to get now at the price that you normally kind of could. So maybe you can hold off on this one. Maybe try to find it somewhere else. Maybe there's good prices on eBay. I'm not sure. I'll do my best to look around for you. But the point is, while it may not be as, as obtainable as it once was, I think it will be at some point. Keep your eyes out. Facebook groups anywhere. It'll come up at some point. You can get it for a good price. And I encourage you to do so. There's a point these are going for less than 100 bucks. I mean, that is an absolute steal of a price and it's well worth being diligent and looking out for. Next up, Mercedes-Benz Le Parfum. Talked about this one a few times here on the channel. This one's got oud, violet leaf, amber. So it has an ozonic kind of freshness, like an airiness, but it also has this nice uh, earthy, mature, refined oud note, which smells amazing. Now, it's a Mercedes-Benz, it's a designer level oud, it's not a real oud before the oud fanboys come in, yes, I understand it's a synthetic oud, that sort of thing, uh, but you know, being that it is a designer, and being that it's also not straying too far away from a designer level scent, I wanted to include it in here, because a lot of people will want to smell like royalty, smell like a million bucks, smell like a king, but they also will still want other people to think that and not think they smell like crap, basically. And this one bridges the gap of having some oud, but also still having that freshness to tie it back and kind of bring it back down to that easy to pull off level. It's affordable, $40 range on discounters. It's a good performer. Quality is great from opening to dry down. Highly recommend that stuff. And now we'll just segue right into this one here, Bentley for Men Absolute. So we've got cedarwood, pink pepper, olibanum, papyrus. This right here is another one of those, kind of like uh, the Dolce & Gabbana I was talking about earlier, where it just brings me back into why I'm passionate about this. You know, you get used to things so easily. But this one here is one of those fragrances that I smell it, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's why I love this hobby, because there's stuff like this that just smells so great. And what's even more crazy about this one, less than 50 bucks sometimes less than 40 bucks. It's in the $40 range, sometimes a bit less. I think the testers do come with a cap. I'm not 100% sure, but I think they might. Don't quote me on that. But regardless, even if it's full presentation, you're still getting way too much fragrance for the price. I mean, you basically are gonna feel like you just stole this stuff when you get it and smell it for the first time after paying that low cost, about 40 bucks because it is that good. I don't say that often about things, but Bentley is one of those fragrance houses that consistently deliver well above what a lot of other brands do in this price range. It even has a little bit of a rum booziness when it opens up. You know, I don't know if it's uh, the perfumer's alcohol because there's no rum or alcohol notes listed in here. I don't hear too many people talk about it, but it's actually, it's a whiskey smell. Like it smells like a whiskey note. I think it actually might be a little bit from the perfumer's alcohol mixing with everything else, but I'll tell you what, it, it smells like a whiskey note. It has a booziness and it doesn't smell cheap, even though it could just be the alcohol and the scent. All I'm saying is from opening to dry down, this one is absolutely incredible. And I know I feel super luxurious when I wear this one. Let's go over to a Chanel. Now this is a brand that, uh, you know, they have some, some luxurious prices, at least for designers, uh, in terms of, you know, comparing it to niche. They're still, they're, they're cheap compared to niche. And what's cool about this one is you can actually get it on discounters. Like it's one of the very few Chanel's that are, are stocked on discounters for whatever reason. I don't know why Blue de Chanel and the Allure Ohms aren't, but this one almost always is. It's Ego East. This and Platinum Ego East always in stock on fragrance nets, sometimes even a couple bottle sizes, which is really cool to see. Even if you're not saving a ton of money, a lot of people still just like to shop at discounters. That's what they're comfortable with, that's what they do, and the fact that you can get this one there really kind of opens it up to a lot more people. And plus, I mean, who doesn't like to save a couple bucks anyway? Cinnamon, sandalwood, tobacco, rosewood are a few of the main notes. So this is one of those woody fragrances, like I was talking about in the beginning. We've already covered a couple, the Bentley, that sort of thing. Uh, but this is one of those traditionally masculine woody fragrances that I instantly think of when 
coming up with the topic of, you know, fragrances that smell like royalty, smell like a million bucks, smell expensive, high end, whatever. This is one of them because it has this masculine, refined feel to it. This kind of uh, mature, I don't know, sophisticated smell. You know, it doesn't smell playful. It doesn't smell like brand new. But it also still kind of has this modern twist. That's what's so crazy about it. And that's what I like about Chanel as a brand is they have these fragrances that, that you know, maybe have an older school feel to them. And this has been out for a long time. But yet it still feels modern in a way somehow. You know, same with Platinum Ego East. It's like a barbershop scent but modernized. And so it's really cool. They, they make some amazing fragrances. The Allure Ohms are going to be timeless forever. Blue de Chanel, of course, also. This is another one where it, it's not like those others. It, it's way different than the Blue de Chanel's and the Allure Ohms. Not going to be for everybody. But if you like masculine woods, nice cinnamon spiciness, you got to get on this one. All right, now we're going to cover that fragrance that I had in mind in the beginning when I was telling you that this is one where it's, you know, not cheap at all. Um, you know, prices on this one have also gone up. It, it is what it is. Um, there, I'm trying to think of alternatives. I don't know if I know any off the top of my head, but I also feel like I might. You could go with another aromatic fougere if you wanted to. I wanted to throw this one in anyway, just for my people out there who do want to splurge a bit. It's Tom Ford Fougere d'Argent. It's a private blend. It's a Tom Ford. To me, I still like to toss them in the designer list because I probably wouldn't include it in the niche list, even though a lot of the private blends do have a niche smell. It's kind of like the best of both worlds, except you're still paying a ton of money. Uh, discounter is definitely the way to go. eBay might even have lower prices as long as you're extra careful about where you're buying from. But the point is, whatever you can do to get your hands on this one, if you like aromatic fougeres, this is a must own. Lavender, Akagala wood, and Tonka bean are a few of the main notes. Uh, look, another way you could go, I completely slipped my head, is you could go Tom Ford Beau du Jour in the signature line. Uh, Going to be much more affordable at discounters, uh, especially price per milliliter wise. Um, or again, if you want to have just kind of a one of the best aromatic fougeres, at least for me, then still I would say pony up for this one if you can. Um, it's been a while since it's been sprayed. <sighs> It's exactly how I remembered it. I've, I've talked about this one a lot. It kind of fell off because there was discontinuation stuff being talked about, and I just kind of stopped featuring it, started focusing on other stuff. First time I ever smelled this was from a sample, and this was when I was new. And young me, with a new nose, was blown away by this aromatic fougere barbershop scent. For the longest time, I'm like, okay, I have to get a bottle someday. I saved up, saved up, finally got one. It's still one that's very special to me. This makes me feel on top of the world. I remember wearing this one when I first got my bottle finally and, and being able to wear it and know that I'm not going to run out anytime soon, even though it's you know a small bottle. And I was just like, yeah, this makes me feel incredible. I don't care what anyone says. I love it. It does have that mature kind of dated feel, but I'm telling you, it makes you smell like a million bucks. All right, let's pick up the speed. We've got Loam Ultime up next. Rose, ginger, uh, grapefruit is in here. Um, cedar wood. Uh, this is going to be one of the more fresh ones. So not really too woody focused. You do get the woods and the dry down cedar wood, but it's really all about that rose ginger combo up front that makes it smell amazing. Fresh, vibrant, juicy. The, the ginger note gives it this nice maturity. The rose kind of freshens it up. It's not like a, a super sweet, uh, old smelling rose or a, a feminine rose. It's a fresh rose, very masculine rose. This is probably one of the easiest rose fragrances to get into as a beginner or if you aren't a beginner but you just want something that is fresh and not you know super rose heavy in the traditional sense go for this one i'm telling you guys there's something special about this one go look at some reviews go look at some forums the hype on this one is real and you guys probably also remember as i brought up a few times uh, the discontinuation rumors surrounding this one. I don't know what's going on with it, but I do know it is in stock on discounters and it has been consistently for a while. So maybe it was a false alarm. Maybe it still is, but they're still stock out there. I don't know. I can't speak on that for certain, but I know you can get it and I think you definitely should. All righty. Next up, Roberto Cavalli, Womo, Deep Desire. So this one's been a little bit hard to find as well. Almost dropped it, but I caught it. Don't, don't leave your comment just yet, but we're not done. I may drop something. We'll see. Uh, you can get it at Fragrance Buy. Link down below. Good price. Um, you know, they discontinued uh, Womo Lenote, 
they discontinued. I don't actually, I don't know what else they discontinued, but I know they discontinued that one. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe they don't care. So who knows if this one doesn't perform good, maybe they'll discontinue it as well. I'm not sure. Not saying that it is. I'm just saying, I don't know for sure. It's just, it's been out of stock for a while. Most places except for fragrance buy, uh, but we've got cedarwood, saffron, and cinnamon. It's a little bit different. It's a different take on a, you know, a men's fragrance. And I think that that's why I like it. You know, it is kind of a warm, spicy, has the saffron note, which elevates it, makes it different. Another one that just has a maturity about it. I mean, even looking at the bottle, looking at the coloration, it looks like it means business and it definitely does. Second to last, a discovery of mine that I've been loving ever since I first got it. Issy Miyake Nuit Dissi Noir Argent. So we've got leather, myrrh, and olibanum here in this one. I still remember being like astonished. Like I almost thought for a second when I sprayed this the first time that I was like scammed and not in a bad way. I'm thinking like, okay, this is an Issy Miyake because look, it's really easy to write off the brand because of their countless fresh flankers, their countless flankers in general. I know for me, I was never expecting anything this good. And I was like, okay, something's up here. And no, I wasn't ripped off or scammed. This is the real deal. And it smells amazing. It's resinous, it's sticky, it's sweet, it's uh, syrupy, it's very rich, has that balsam to the next level here, nice leathery undertone. Like I said, it is next level stuff. Not gonna be for everybody, you know, kind of like a lot of the things here, I mean, you know. Uh, less woody and more resinous and sweet, but it still has this luxurious, expensive smell. And realistically, it's not all, you know, that high of a price scent online either. And last up, a, another discontinued fragrance. Um, you know, it's Gucci Guilty Absolute. It's got leather, cedarwood, cypress. It's basically all leather and woods. Smells like motor oil, smells like grease, smells like working in the shop late at night. You know, you're out there with your dad working on a car or something and you're young and you're learning and, uh, you know, there's grease and oil and gasoline and stuff all over. That's kind of the vibe that it gives off. I mean, it, you know, that's why I like it because it just smells like working on stuff. It smells like getting your hands dirty. And so for me, I love it, but it's not going to be for everybody. Very polarizing. You know, it is discontinued. I've posted about it a lot. And I've gotten many comments saying that this is the worst fragrance I've ever tried. <laughs> and, you know, I can't be mad at that. I don't get mad if someone doesn't like something that I like, but it just goes to show like this literally is nothing to laugh about, even though <laughs> I'm laughing and it is kind of funny. It's seriously like it, it's not for everybody. And that's why, unfortunately, it's getting discontinued. It is so out there. It is so polarizing. The fact of the matter is Gucci does not care. I mean, look at some of the other stuff that they put out. They do not care. Um, this is niche level on every stretch of the term. Look at Killian Dark Lord, 220 bucks for 50 mils, much more expensive price per milliliter wise. And it's shockingly similar to this one. Not 100%, but very similar. That one's more vetiver focused, but they still come across very similar gas, motor oil, grease, tires, rubber smell. It's crazy, but I love both of them. And, and you know, it, it really did belong in a niche setting because the average person is gonna smell this and they're gonna hate it. To me, I still think it smells high end, even though it smells like you're working in a shop. It, I don't know, there's something about the way the leather comes across, especially wearing it on skin, some more spices come through. I just think it's super cool stuff. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for me. That is 10 designer fragrances that are gonna have you smelling like royalty. You're gonna be smelling like a million bucks. You're gonna be smelling high end. These just work, man. A lot of woods focused. You know, some of these like a uh, wood neroli here can be summer focused. Loam ultime could be kind of spring and summer focused. Um, and that's actually probably about it. So these two are gonna be fresher. The other ones are gonna be more spring, fall, and winter. You know, just cooler weather. But you know, you can do what you want. Links down below to all of these. So you can pick them up at a discount. That's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. And we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.